Raise your hand if you like to beat the bank. I know I do. Well, I've had several different experiences in my bass fishing history that have really taught me that getting our eyes off the bank can make a big, big difference. And I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, super offshore fishing, structure fishing in 60 foot of water. You know, sometimes getting our eyes off the bank can only be a boat length away from the bank. But here's several instances that taught me a lot and we can apply it to our fishing more often. Number one is when I was fishing with Mark Davis on Lake Washita down in Arkansas. We were ledge fishing and let me tell you, I learned a lot that day. This was a creek ledge and probably 12, 15 foot of water and we searched and searched and searched and searched and searched and I was beginning to doubt it but he knew that we were going to find a school of bass and then when we did we'd really catch them. And of course, being a former classic champion, he was right. We found that school of largemouth and then just proceeded to catch, catch, catch for a long time. And everyone that was up beating the bank, they were just going right by, you know, catch a random one here or there, and we absolutely hammered them. Number two was this happened to me just this summer up on the Mississippi River. We were running square bills down a riprap bank and an errant cast, a bad cast out about a boat length away from the bank, discovered a spot by accident that had good fish piled up on it every time that we went there. It was crazy, and like I said, this wasn't a long ways off the bank, but we got our eyes off that bank, probably about 20, 25 feet away, and this spot was just a little bit different, and it was holding quality fish. In this situation, we found it by accident but if I've been deliberately looking a little bit offshore, I would have found it probably a lot quicker. And the third one I wanna go over was up on Eagle's Nest Lake. I think it was on Eagle's Nest one and two. My son and I were fishing up there and we ran across this huge flat. And at first I was, you know, for years I was scared of fishing flats and I'd worked the perimeter of them, the edges of them. But the more and more that I fished, the more that flats were less intimidating. And we found so many smallmouth up on this flat, out in the middle of it. And if we would have just focused up on the bank, we would have never seen and found what was there. Now the real key to getting your eyes off the bank is the mindset from flipping and pitching or targeting isolated pieces of cover, things that we can see, to more of a searching, mode okay when you run down the bank you can pick up fish here and there but when we get our eyes off the bank whether it's a boat length away from the bank or you know 100 yards off the bank you're in that searching mode so what we're doing needs to change so we need lures that can cover water horizontal lures jerk baits deep divers carolina rigs top water sometimes that can find where those fish are located then we have the option to go ahead and switch things up and be more deliberate in our presentation. But man, if, if you really take some time, okay, and expand your fishing and get those eyes off the bank, I think you're gonna find some spots out there and have some days that you will never, ever forget about. And hey, maybe you already do a great job with this. What experiences do you have? Go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. And hey, speaking of searching and finding, those long casts are important, right? So if you wanna watch a video on making ultra long casts, Go ahead and watch this one right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.